The sharp red gravel cut the tender soles of our bare feet as we trudged along the stony path. A few minutes later we saw the ashram. The Swami had not told us that the ashram had remained unoccupied because it was haunted. At five, while it was still dark, we were awoken by the sounds coming from the two temples a mile away across the river. Every morning, Satyapriya washed the cement floor and the altar, while I placed flowers on the frame photographs and marked their foreheads with fresh sandalwood paste, as though they were living persons.